let's talk about zeroing your gun for a second. Uh, duty ammo or carry ammo versus your, your training stuff, right? So, uh, recently picked up uh, 3,000 rounds of uh, PMC 115 grain ball ammo. My carry ammo is gold dot 124 grain plus P. So, uh, I noticed that the ammo was shooting way to the right and, um, you know, for several hundred rounds. So I adjusted the sights, not really thinking about my duty ammo or carry ammo. And uh, so I've slowly been adjusting it back. And uh, basically it was, the PMC was shooting to the right. The carry ammo was fine uh, until I started messing with the sights for the, the training ammo. Then it went off to the left. So I've been doing little increments to get it back centered. Uh, I just shot this 10 yard, or I'm sorry, 10 shot group of 25 yards. A little low, so maybe I got some flinches going on today or whatever, anticipating some recoil. Uh, but it's maybe somewhat lined up or a little bit to the right. I also felt uh, like when I pulled the trigger a few times, the I pulled the front sight because uh, during recoil I went over and to the right. So uh, that might have been me. So I'm going to tape it up again. And I'm going to shoot some more carry ammo uh, and see if it's good or if it needs to come back over to the left. And then I'm going to shoot some uh, of the 115 grain ammo and see where that prints on the target for you. All right, so uh, taped it up, shot another uh, 10 round group. And as you can see, it uh, it is centered up. So before it was a little bit of, uh, of me, whatever I was doing, maybe too much finger on the trigger. I, I'm not sure, uh, but I was pulling it to the right. But... If you drew a line down the center of the group, I just shot one, two, three, four, five, six, seven are centered and to the left, one, two, three are a little bit to the right. Uh, so if anything, maybe it's, uh, well, no, I'd say that's centered, right? So most of it is centered. There's two over here to the left. So I would call that centered. I am shooting a little low. Now, is that me uh, or is it, um, you know, I, I've been not crazy about cleaning the barrel and this gun probably has god thousands of rounds through it five six seven ten thousand rounds through it with just running a bore snake and occasionally a brush through it a few passes so maybe it needs a good cleaning i don't know if that would make it uh print a little bit lower or if it's me or maybe it's a combination thereof i don't get too crazy clean in my barrels for whatever reason um laziness could be um so yeah you've seen it uh, and the score went up too uh, from before. I think I got an 89 before, and we're down three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I mean, yeah, I'll we'll call that eight. So uh, down eight, so 92. So 89 and 92. So maybe it was a little bit me before. Maybe it's still a little bit me now, uh, printing a little low. But now I'm going to tape it up and I'm going to shoot the PMC 115 grain. And see how that prints versus uh, my carry ammo. One other thing real quick guys. I'll try to get this right for the camera. If you look in the center of my Heine straight 8 night sights there. Uh, try to do this. Uh, <laughs> holding the phone. And uh, So if you look in the center of it. I'm trying to get my pinky to. Uh, but that basically that center dot there. Right behind where it says Heine. There's an Allen key. And that helps keep... Uh, keep you from bumping your rear sight uh taking it out of the holster or you know i know you shouldn't drop your gun people drop their guns it happens uh if you're law enforcement you know in the holster just banging in on a doorway going through or or whatever and if i don't know if i can get it on the camera and the gun is clear and safe but um it is off a little bit more to one side than the other uh, i would say yeah there's a little bit more of a space on uh, my thumb side over here then on the other one I don't know if I could pick that up on the on the camera or not but um, that's something to think about too is bumping your sights right so uh, I like having the Allen key and one of the things I noticed too and you can get a little crazy when you're zeroing your guns um, I, I thought I noticed it was off a little bit to the one side and um, so I didn't even try shooting my carry ammo I just started adjusting the sights. So, you know, carry ammo, competition ammo for your competition gun, duty ammo, whatever. That's what you got to check everything with. Not, you know, uh, are your sights a little off one way or another, uh, you know, in their dovetail or whatever. But where they're printing, 
with the ammo that's going to save your life or win your competition if you're a competition shooter. So taped up now and uh, we'll shoot the 115 ball. All right, guys, so here you go. Like I was saying, try to work the camera here. Uh, there's the center of the X, uh, and you can see where all the hits were before. Um, and now there's one shot. Make sure I can get you on the camera here. One shot to the left of the X, you know, left of the center of, of uh, the black. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, so, yeah. The group shifted and it opened up a little bit. You know, that might be me right there, um, but not match your duty ammo. So uh, check your shifts and point of aim, point of impact from carry ammo or duty ammo or training or competition ammo with your training stuff uh, because it definitely can print different, um, different constructions, right? Hollow point versus ball. Um, you got better components in carry or competition ammo than you do in just, you know, cheaper training ammo. Ow, uh, sorry, my jaw popped. Uh, different um, bullet weights, right? 115 versus 124. Um, I tell you what I don't see much change in is using Fiocchi. I love Fiocchi right now with the uh, COVID stuff. It's not, uh, really not easy to find Fiocchi. Uh, and it was at, going for really good prices right before all this COVID and civil unrest stuff. So uh, with the Fiocchi, man, from, from my zeroed with my hollow points, um to to the fioki ball 115 124 no changes you know shooting you know centered shooting 90s on b8s yes and part of the b8 mafia uh at 25 so uh you got to see what works for you because this could get frustrating right you you take a class or you go to a competition and you got stuff that uh all of a sudden it shifts right so probably my first group of the day here uh was me some flinchies whatever um second group I kind of got my stuff together a little bit, still a little bit low, but, um, you know, now this is, you know, that's clearly the gun. And for most right-handed shooters, if you're going to jerk the trigger, you're jerking it to the left uh, and vice versa for a left-handed shooter. So uh, it's definitely not trigger jerk. Um, not to say you, you can't, you know, maybe hook too much finger in air and, and pull the gun to the right as a right-handed shooter. But uh, just something to think about. You got to zero your guns, you change ammo. Um, you know, bullet weight, bullet type, all of that stuff, and you can see a change in your uh, point of impact. All right, guys, so get out there, test your, your ammo, and uh, train hard. I'll see you on the range.